Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moimon, my Mono Bug Run. It's time to once again throw down with our rival. Yeah. Do we have what it takes to win, or are we going to have to be praying extra hard today? <laughs> well, we'll find out, though. The fact that we have to basically rely on um, Butterfree for this? Yeah, this is probably not going to be pretty. Um, at least we don't have to deal with a Charmander or um, Charmeleon, I suppose. <sighs> but... Pidgeot was probably going to be bad enough. I mean, let's face it. Okay, let's get Sleep Powder out there. I could harden up, which would nerf its damage a bit if it wakes up. doesn't crit me, but therein lies the problem. I don't know if it's going to be a critical hit or not. Um, so I'll throw in one harden just to be um, prepared to hopefully nerf any um, gusts that come my way if it wakes up. And then we get back to the process of just trying to straight up kill it. Um, hopefully before it wakes up, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that fast enough here. Well, I did um, weaken it down to at least that little damage, you know. I'll take the 17. And then get back to trying to clean house here. Hopefully I can finish this thing off before it wakes up again. It's going to be a nightmare doing this thing when we get to, um, later parts, I suppose. Oh, thank you, critical hit. Okay, now I only have to hit one more time for the win, so that'll be easy enough. I don't know if the Harden's going to help me in any of the other fights, though. After all, most of our Pokemon are probably going to be running, um, special attacks. Well, it might help with Rattata a bit. Um, assuming I can't put it to sleep first. It may go for the quick attack. Yeah, I thought so. Well, I guess it helped with that, too. <laughs> Thank you, Harden. I'm still going to get rid of it at some point. I, I know I will. It's just not a move I'm going to want to keep, you know, long term. There's just not enough other fights where it's going to be really useful. Um, it could come in handy against, you know, the poison Pokemon Koga's team, I suppose, but... It's probably not going to be high enough that I'm going to really want to keep it at that point. Um, let's see. Do I want to switch out? I mean, I didn't have to come in back on Bulbasaur, but that's probably not going to be too hard. Let's see. I'll get Ace out there. Yeah. We'll send out little Ace. Honestly, if I was thinking more clearly, I probably would have named it the Red Baron, you know? After all, we're going to be giving it Aerial Ace at some point, so it makes sense that it'd be a Red Baron, right? Uh, I'm going to go with Scratch. It's not like it can get away, and spending my time on Stun Spore is kind of pointless. If it was Poison Powder, sure, go for it. You know, that little extra damage might help finish this a bit faster. I suppose someone would argue Insector would have been a better pick for finishing this fight quickly, but, you know, I don't know how much longer Beedle is going to be relevant to this team at all, because, you know... I like the look of it. I really do. I, I like the Moimon version of Beedrill quite a bit. It's just too bad, you know, it's got so many other problems going for it. The root of which is it's still just a Beedrill. Um, darn. I was hoping I'd get Stun Spore off and go for like a tackle. Well, if I got nothing else, I can keep doing this. After all, I can resist Vine Whip. <laughs> Come on. Wake up, Ace. You can do it. <sighs> Darn, getting whipped in my sleep. Yeah, I know. I could switch into Butterfree and easily nerf that, then probably counter back with a sleep powder of my own. But I'd rather just um, slow it down and let Ace try to take a crack at it. And maybe switch into them um, insect or let the lesser hues Pokemon get a chance to shine a little bit, you know? <sighs> well, apparently, I'm gonna have to do that because Bosor keeps responding back with the sleep powder. Gosh darn it. You know what? We'll just go for a fast kill with um, Butterfree. I really don't wanna spend time on Fury attacks. Yeah, that's not gonna work here. You might wanna pull out Tackle. Unfortunately, I can't sleep it right now. Poison powder, eh? So you got sleep and poison powder? 
interesting picks. I'd carry one, but not both of them. I mean, usually I just ditch Poison Powder, because the bonus damage ain't enough, you know, in comparison to Sleep Powder overall, usually. But to each their own, I suppose. Well, that takes care of our rival, at least for now. But he'll be back. I think I'll cut this episode here, though. I suppose I could technically go longer and hit up the bridge, but... I'd like to try and do at least a little level grinding and try and get Insector um, Ace, you know, up the level, you know? So I can hopefully deal with the rest of the people on the bridge that I have to constantly switch over to Pepe, our Butterfree, you know? Gets a bit old using the same Pokemon over and over and over again. <sighs> a little present I don't even care about because I never even used the Fame Checker. I don't really either. At least not in this game. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time, we'll get ourselves an SS ticket. Till then, see ya.